Hello everyone and welcome back to Al Chauvin here for episode 14 I think. And yeah, we have been very busy. I see the money's gone down. We've got pretty much no money left over. That is because in the last episode we were considering whether or not to get the new carpentry business set up. We have. Also, we spent some money on a Freightliner trader, sort of a current side trader. Also, I have been busy, I see by seeing this actual cleans up what's right here, of finishing off picking up all, well, most of the chaff, well, the grass converted into chaff I put into the bunker side though. And also, by field 2, we had that grass area that we Got, that's our part of the field. And pretty much what we've done, we've just gone and moved that up as well. Wind rode it, picked up the forge wagon. And yeah, so we got a lot of stuff. So there we go, let's get the controllers right. Give us a good old wash, ain't gonna last too long. There we go. So yeah, pretty much it all of it here, this area here, we just got on and mowed it. I suppose overall we do have the entire access to this area here, so I may cut like, these trees down, take them up to the sawmill, or even into actually the better option, because we've got this sawmill, we don't need any more timber. That's going to last a while to be honest, but we can have a little look here at a carpentry business, but what we'll do first of all is actually take us to the shop. We'll get it serviced and refueled, and we'll take our truck that we've got, or well, Lord, we've got at least the next truck, as I'm gonna call it. But yeah, obviously, so we skipped ahead by like almost 24 hours. Now, let's see how much size we've got. We won't have a look at the carpentry tree quite yet. But yeah, I see a plenty of grass now. It's going to be at least another month and a half before that gets processed. Got a bit of hay that we had about in this side over here where we put some grass and straw in there. That's going to consume it not too quick. Well, it's going to consume it quite quickly. And chaff as well. Got about a month's worth left, so... Now this is all good because the grass is going to be ready to mow again tomorrow and I'm not sure if we can do it today but definitely sure for tomorrow we can start harvesting the corn from chaff. However we need 30 grand. Usually that'll be a problem. However with this carpentry business we've got set up here that's going to be nothing. Put it this way, the amount of furniture we're going to be producing, <coughs> not even including the wood chip pellets, we're going to be making, if we can keep it up, at least, at least 60,000 litres of furniture a month. Uh, if we have a look at the prices of furniture, they're going for quite a high demand at the moment. Eight grand per thousand liters. Do the math. That's what eighty. Oh, we're we're gonna be so in the money, so so into the money. But of course, this price wouldn't last. I've been told this whole eight grand is gonna last about another month or so. So we need to get pretty double rolled in. But yes, yeah, so we've got thirty-six thousand liters of planks. We collected some that we had. Already at the sawmill, that was about 20,000 years. And the other 16,000 years was, which was in the old carpentry tree. Before we gone and sold, sold and demolished it and all that, we got about, it cost us about 60 grand, I think it was. We got about 37.5 back out of it. Which, in fairness, I'm not complaining. But yeah, this, this next truck here. Yes, it has its little foibles with reversing and that. But overall, it's actually quite liking it. It's good off road. I've got this little current side trader, which we've got a 
uncle this person Ben a little handy man if they help us get these loaded up so we don't have to take our own stuff up he's a real strong man here so he can just lift them up with his bare hands chuck them into the trailer and then we'll be done with it Gosh, maybe we're putting the traffic back on we we'll have, have to turn off try to get some of the timber up to the carpentry business because it will take really eternity to me. Why? He's uh, the locals here. Yeah, a lot of them are friendly. They're kind in that, but they're driving. God. <laughs> but yeah, we can just go boom with this. So it's got like 600 or so horsepower. It's got six tires, and I'm not sure if it's six wheel drive or four wheel drive. I think it's, I would say, four wheel drive with the tires at the back, but I could be wrong on that. We can have a look at that at some point. But you can see it's full up with planks and that, and it's just skipping up here like a little mountain goat. It's just going boom. boom. Also, you could just whack a dolly onto the back of the TLX and pretty much be in the same situation, but it's good to just have a nice our own lorry in that. So, Sunfire Oil is going well. We took the. Oops, go move you. Took the cloths up here. With at least a little big bag handler to just hold timber. We also did bring the 3.5 ton weight we've been using. Um, did just a bit of logging that cut some of these trees here dying seeds, some of the stumps and that. And until we've got 84,000 years of wood, and that's enough timber to last us less than two months. That's the thing, this is a monster. Whoever's working there, or whatever group of people's working here, they are doing a good job, so. We'll go load up. Ben will get his all unloaded for us. There we go. And now, if we go into here, we can actually have a look at this into detail. So, go on and enable all this. With sawmill, we've got whatever planks we're producing, and with chips, that's going to be sent over. And in here, it requires wood or planks to make furniture. That's 12,000 cycles a month. So potentially, that's going to be 60... We're looking at well over 120,000 litres of... <laughs> oh Christ. 120,000 litres of furniture a month. However, at the moment we're not in the process of just making tons of planks we need another sawmill for that that's gonna be about 150 grand so yeah I'm a bit cautious on that but regardless the Malve is gonna be tuning through it's gonna make wood chips and with the said wood chips we can make wood chip pellets so that's four to seven twelve thousand cycles a month so this is just gonna be absolutely just turboing I'll say give this an hour and we'll have our first produce but however Ben's here and because we have so many pads spawn up soon we need to have a look at getting our other pads sold off like honey the eggs and that so we'll get this all loaded up so yeah we'll take this back to the farm and then Yeah, we'll get, get Ben to auto do all this for us. Thank you, Ben, kind sir. I'll give you a helping hand. There we go, just hop back into here. That's 8,000 litres of sunflower oil. Let's head back to the farm and get the rest, I think. 
So here we are, back out of the farm, and can Ben get the eggs lit up as well? I'm not too sure, is it just one type of produce it can do? Uh, I think it's a case of it can only do. Well, Ben can only load up one produce at a time, so. Looks like we're going to have to get all this loaded up before it's ourselves, so that kind of sucks, but I'm going to spend here a few minutes getting this all loaded up. Finally, you all watch me getting this all done. I'm just going to do this off camera, and I'll bring you folks back in a couple of minutes here. And there we go, just getting these last pallets in. I think we can just neatly stack these up here. I do apologise for the mess of my stacking. Ain't the best of stackers, as you can probably tell, for some unknown reason. So just two more. I'm trying to find a way to squeeze them in. Two more. So it'd be nice if this opened up at the back so I could just try to squeeze this in. Come on. That's it. There we go. And the last pallet. Uh, we should make a hefty chunk of change from this, I think. Oh, just, 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 do. Put you in sideways. No, not literally sideways like that. What? Well, I'm just gonna go with that. And we'll hop into here. Let's get the curtains covered so you don't have to see my mess. There we go. Ah, a bit sticking outside. So yeah. Let's take it over to the land handout cell point and see how much money we can make. If I to estimate twenty not eight, sixteen, twenty-four. I'll say the best probably like 75 80 grand I think. Be a nice number I think. Here and what did I say about 70, 75, 80 grand? Let's see how much moolah we can make here. Well past 80. Oh boy, oh, I way underestimate how much money we was going to make here. So I'll move that. What's stuck there? Some eggs. Go. Sell. Good eggs. Can we hit 200 hondos? And yes we can. Way underestimate how much money we was going to make there. Oh boy, if we're just to make that... I... yes. <laughs> Obviously this is part of the summer boom, the summer frenzy of prices are a bit up so perhaps like what how much we made it 196 I think even in like normal and that like normal settings like normal kind of vibes 
perhaps we would have gone around, I don't know, 125. So I was still way off how much I was estimating we was going to get. And that's covered the decent cost of everything. And as you see, it handled the hill very well. This is the first piece of equipment that has handled a hill extremely well. Man, that van's all over the place. Wonder what he's been taking. But yeah, so for now, we'll see, keep this next at least. We could go ahead and buy it. However, I do want to try... Yeah, I do want to try save some money. Potentially look at getting the Combine Harvester. Potentially. I'm not sure. <laughs> Actually, I'm not too sure. We've still got a contract we can do for 20 ground, which is cultivating field 12. We can always whack the John Deere on that. Oh, that's a solid lamp post. But yeah, so we are making a lot of money here. We're already, we're almost, literally less than an hour we've got our first pile of furniture. Christ. <laughs> we're making, yeah. Obviously this thing's a monster machine. Obviously we need to do login. And so what we plan for logging in that is simply the case of getting this all cleared out. We need a forestry trader and all that. We'll see if the wheel loader can cope. If not, perhaps try to borrow the shop's tea handler. We've got the money. Ah, speaking of which, is there anything in the use market that's of my interest? Um, the answer to that is yes. <laughs> Funny enough, we need a roller. Ah, it's the biggest one we can get. 24.3 meters, 350 horsepower requirement, so that is the top end of what we've got because so I haven't actually tested this. How much is our case? Oof. Only 313 so we may struggle. And how much? Oof. Ouch. That's a lot of money. So any good ones? We could upgrade to the Magnum AFS Connect series, but again, that's free. Again, that's free. Just three hundred twelve grand, but it's three seventy four. We can get the Echo One Thousand series. Then again, we could get a Colossus. So if anything's king with I don't know, like a front loader attacher. Um, this one does. <laughs> No, I'm saying that because I am thinking of swapping out the other John Deere we've got. Got a Massey, got these John Deere's here. That's something I'd love to have, the 9RT. Let's have a look at some of these configurations. Actually, there is a good medium tractor that I would like for the jump to have as like a front loader lifter tractor. Is it under here? Perhaps it's the John Deere 7R. Actually, no, actually, no it might have been in the large tractors. Where is it to? John Deere 7R. 7R. This one we could potentially have. How much is it for the big engine? Actually, that's a good deal. 388 horsepower for only 289 grand. Well, I say only 289 grand, but that is a very good deal for us. And I'm thinking from the case we've got at the moment, we could perhaps make 100 grand back. See so yeah, if we go to our owned equipment. The 4955, we're going to make much money back off that, so I may just keep it around as a little around the yard tractor 
But I think the case has served as well. We've done 63 hours on it. John Deere report out use, that's 53 hours. I don't know. Actually, let me hop into the case a sec, take it to the shop and see how much money we can get. Potentially. And whilst that's on the way, we need to do some mulching of the vineyard, so... We know what we want works, so... Actually, where is it to? Mulchers, mulchers, mulchers... There we go. Obviously, we could do with a bigger mulcher, something like this, perhaps for our own general fields, but... And again, that 250 horsepower compared to 159 meters. That would be the better option, but I'm using that on other series, so. Yes, I know it does it at turbo speed as well, which would be handy, but. I think something like a sub like this would do us just well, I think. Different options, 3D chains, and all that. But for now, we'll go ahead and buy you. Man, there's so much crap here at the shop. <laughs> we need to obviously go and clean this up again. Push, push, out of the way. Don't fight. Let's see, we'll grab the mulcher. I think this should just about do it. And also, actually, do we have a furrow spreader? Because we sold the other one because it was doing lime at a terrible rate, it was, so. No, we do not have a furrow spreader, so. Actually, we can do that now. So, furrow spreader, which one do we want? I think that's good, it does 36 meters, but it does lime out like 12 meters. Something like that, 20 grand, 4,000 liters. Or however, we could go just all out big. That's just a monster capacity. In this case, I'll fill it up one turn, forget about it, but yeah, we'll go with the bread all. So yeah, a lot of work to do, just prepping the farming app for the harvest period. Of course we need to do the mulching. Actually, yeah, speaking of which, we'll pull over here a sec. Our beacon's on, of course. And when is it the harvesting window? So for grapes, it is September. For olives, it is October, so that's good. We don't have to worry about the vineyard tomorrow in in August, because <laughs> so I think August is going to be a busy month as it is for us. Just with if the wheat's ready, I think it should be ready tomorrow for recall. However, we did plant it late, so there may be a good chance we won't have to do it. I'd say it's a good chance because then that gives us time to dedicate to just doing the chaff now. Actually pressed off the cruise control button there. I forgot to activate it. But as well this little Anto Carrero little tractor here. I think it's what well, got like 90 or so horsepower, but it's just something different. I generally look, look at this, I do. So yeah, all we got to do, I think, yeah, this year's episode is get this done. Get it frozen done on the grass, so that, that's going to take two seconds. I'm also going to have to buy the fertilizer for that. There's a tree cut down there somewhere. Uh, I'm not sure where it came from. But, anywho, let's go up and go to the vineyard or, or, the, or the roof. Once you've done that, we'll go ahead and drive all the way down to the vineyard. And 
and there we go at the olive grove so you can see that clearly needs mulching apparently needs power plowing but we can't do that until next year so that's going to be a bit of a problem for us with the yield in that because what is the yield it doesn't say weirdly but still nevertheless I know it's going to be slightly down because we have done the plowing but at the end of the day, it is what it is. And this does it perfectly. This is the perfect width. It will catch a few times because of my driving. So if I can stop doing these like final corrections, it should be golden. And it is a long... It's only a few vines, but they're so long, so... I think we'll go and do the outside swap afterwards. Sorry, Sorry about that with the camera. Oh, this is going to be potentially painful for me. Definitely time consuming. This issue is just my driving because it doesn't sit perfectly straight, so we need to be slightly left. And as you can see, we're doing good at the moment. I think even when I'm not touching the serum, because like the bumps and grooves and that in the ground, in the terrain, it's obviously of course going to jolt the tractor a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. So the wheels is going to move anyway on its own, so it's just those little factors that will hold us back a little bit, but I think I don't see this taking too long. I'm saying that now, but yeah, so I think what I'll do. I have a nice little time out, so I'll us getting this done. And then after that, we'll go to our grass field gar for a least, and then end the episode here, I think.
for all f two and a half, three hours of mulching. And this is the result. We have sort of lost our olive growth. I am... To say that I'm annoyed at the moment is... Yeah. Somehow with the game in that. Left the game, came back in. And just yes, we're losing vines. Like the collisions are still there. I'm still getting collisions here and there. The collisions there. So yeah, I'm still getting all these odd collisions. So I have actually have no idea what's going on. Like some people can just walk straight through. Others not so much. And if we try, let's say if you want to go and just get rid of these. So that happens. I see all this just all suddenly pops up and. So if you're going to try to delete one vine at a time. Like so, delete you. Sorry about how it being night, obviously I know ain't always the best of things to do. Just trying to find a vine that we can just delete. Delete you. And delete you. So yeah, we got our vineyard back. Obviously a bit sporadic in that. But this won't stay permanent, that's the thing. So what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to save the game. Look back in and see if this fixes it or if it doesn't. So if it doesn't, then we're going to have to do something with this field. Uh, we spent a lot of money getting this in the first place. Spent the time mulching, which turns out to be a waste of time, but... Because obviously you got to mulch after the harvest, not after you annoyingly plant it. Just, yeah, I'm, I'm frustrated at that moment, so yeah, let's go and save. And yeah, we'll save it, leave, come back in, and see if anything happens. So here we are, just loading back in, and let's go and tab over to the vineyard. And see if these disappear, it should be any second now if they do disappear. And they seem to be staying. Nope, spoke too soon. I think that's gone, but still getting collision, so... And then weirdly, it says canola's growing. And I'm just like, how, why... It just doesn't make any sense, so... So literally what we've got to do is delete every darn vine. This is going to take a while to get all redone as well. <sighs> just give me strength. <laughs> no, 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 I mean seriously, just give me strength. This is proper annoyed me. Obviously, we've already planted this, and you know, there's supposed to be a reason series. Shows what we're going to do here, what I do off camera in between episodes. Is I'll literally get this all removed. Shame there ain't like, um, like a bulldozer tool or mod that we can just go yoink, select all this, and delete. Because remember, this field is like three and a half hectares. Or 3.33 hectares, and I am not happy at all. I see it's the same Oz is growing and canoe is growing so I think this used to be a canoe field I'm pretty sure when we go and bought this field it was a canoe field but yeah you know what I have no idea but speaking of being your work with the motor and that we used the John Deere and that seems to work perfectly fine for us so 
you've got the repairs and services, I'm just gonna sell it. Bit of a waste of money, I know, but it is what it is at the end of the day. Uh, is there any more contracts? Ooh. That just needs to be tedded. What's that, field 40? Nope, not gonna do that, because that's a bug contract. We're gonna do you. We'll do you in the next episode or so, because next time we will go and sell all the silage. That's how we're doing at the moment with our protections and that. Slowly making some planks and that, not enough to keep this monster feeding along. The old green meal that's turning out well, getting some decent amount of sunflower oil. And the fermenter side though, that's doing good. And yeah, it's got tons. I think we're already, how much we've got? Yeah, 11,000 litres of furniture within literally a couple of in-game hours. You know what, that's just unbelievable that is. Oh yeah, also, with all everything going on, we bought a new trailer! With the cost carrot 140 TD. With the extension, so that will hold 22,500 litres. And yeah, that will just sort of simply keep us going along and do little bits around the yard, like feeding the animals. That's where also suddenly the money's gone. We've been feeding the chickens, feeding the cows with obviously chicken feed, and I think we bought a buckload of chicken feed, didn't we? Yeah. Got 51,000 litres of wheat in storage. That's all we bought just in pallet form in that, so. And I've no idea why we went over this way. No idea why, because we need to go here to the grass field, so... <coughs> well, anywho, this should be, what, only one pass, I think? Apparently, no, it doesn't need. Apparently, it's all good for not nitrogen in that. I swear it needed more last time. I'll well, keep it going. Just go around. I thought it needed. No, apparently it does not need. Yeah, no, she's good. Could do with a little bit more line. Here and that, but. Overall. Yeah, seems to be happy, doesn't need any more. <laughs> In all of us cases, so be it. And on that note, that's where we're going to end today. But I think what we'll do quickly, we'll just sort of skip ahead till the morning. And see just how much furniture we got. I know roughly how much we should be getting, but... Let's see, it'll come out of there. Skip to about 5 a.m. Obviously, our money's gonna go down a bit more with all the leasing fees. You know, so a couple of grand they went down. Skip ahead a bit more so we get a bit more daylight. There we go. Look at that. I always look like a nice morning. How's our nitrogen bad here? Wait a minute, that's... Oh, we're ready to harvest. That's good, yeah, I thought it takes a minute for it to process, so are we? It is ready to harvest. How is our cornfield? What? Uh, what's going on here? Dave bounced back. What? How? Why? I really don't know what's going on here. I really don't. But yeah, where is... 
Oh, we've got lots of pellets here. But yeah, we've got tons and tons of pets, but the best time to sell these is actually in like January, February time, so I'll just go and leave you here and stop. Man, we're getting so much. I'll see if we get in terms of furniture, should just pop into here. Yeah, so well, another 12,000 years of furniture. But yeah, so we'll have a little look in that. Everything in the old productions and that. 400,000 years off. <laughs> Sorry, did you? Okay, still got some planks. Not a lot left, but. So you got oh like over half a million years off. Is that gonna be a full truck load? It's twenty two thousand years. No, not quite, but I'm thinking let's give it till the end of the day, I'm sure we're gonna have a full just a full trailer's worth of furniture. So got 3,000 euros of plank, so how much would that net us in terms of furniture alone? Yeah, about 35-ish thousand years. And we just got a buckload of pellets, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15,000 years of pellets. And if you look at prices for the pellets, how much are they at the moment? See, so they're around 135. And they can go up to 6 grand. I think this is what I want to get. If we get this production pack on the way, we could be literally making a million. Yeah, <laughs> literally a million quid in one pallet. And that is just outrageous. And yeah, got all these all other bits of here and that. So yeah, so much to do. But I did want to look at the corn, that's why I did say we was going to have a look at, and we did not. Go to the cow pasture, 31,000 litres, and yes, we are ready. Corn's ready to be chaffed, got plenty of delicious wheat here. The yieldage, yeah, you can see there about 94, 95% for the corn. This is going to be I think literally this is going to be the biggest sludge hole we'll will ever have I think. <laughs> Cause yeah what, over half a mil already in size just fermenting. And that's not including what we really get from here in terms of the chaff and that so you know, go to the shop and that. You know what, let's go ahead and just lease some equipment now. So we want a nice big old combine harvester I think. Something a decent capacity. Something like you, perhaps. Yeah, we want tracks. Number one. The rear hitch, please. Yes. Big engine, why not? Long pipe, why not? White axles, why not? That's going to be 17.5. Now we need a header for that. And 
which I think could go something like that. Maybe a bit too big. But yeah, we're so excited and yeah, I'll get a lot of this done off camera, I'll get a lot of these moved about in that. And next episode we're gonna be in for a treat. So I really hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, feel free to comment down below. And if you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for choose to do, hope you're in the house to stay. But for now, this will be Farm Revolution Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.